First off tonight, the bridge blockade rages on. Thousands of truckers are holding up parts of Ottawa, Windsor, and now business in Detroit, all over a COVID vaccine mandate. Tonight, the White House says it is monitoring the situation very closely. Natalie Brand has the latest. Preparations for Super Bowl Sunday in Los Angeles now include a DHS warning of a potential convoy of truckers, similar to the one that's prompted a state of emergency in Ottawa, Canada. DHS Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas spoke exclusively to CBS News's Carter Evans. Once they intervene in other people's freedoms and liberties, uh, it becomes a more complicated landscape, but we're working with law enforcement to address any eventuality. The Department of Homeland Security says it's received reports that the truckers could potentially begin in L.A. this Sunday and travel cross-country, possibly reaching Washington, D.C. as early as March 1st, the date President Biden delivers the State of the Union address. DHS has warned police agencies while there are currently no indications of planned violence, the potential exists to severely disrupt transportation and federal government operations. The White House says it's watching the trucker protests in Canada very closely as they've blockaded a bridge into Detroit, impacting a supply chain already in crisis. The Ambassador Bridge is Canada's busiest link to the United States and accounts for about 25 percent of trade uh, between the two countries. Auto manufacturers on both sides of the border say they're experiencing production disruptions at their plants. The economic and social harm that these protests are having here in Windsor, in Ottawa and across Canada is quite significant. Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer is calling on Canada to immediately reopen the bridge, saying the blockade is having a significant impact on Michigan's working families who are just trying to do their jobs. It's hitting paychecks and production lines. That is unacceptable. Natalie Brandt, CBS News, the White House.